The app itself comes out of a fairly extensive long-term research project involving up to 50 people around the world, both scholars and policy practitioners. And we've come up with the usual kinds of, of scholarly output. We have um, an edited book volume coming out. We have ed articles. We have uh, chapters in, in books. And, uh, and we also have a practitioner's guide that we've developed to go uh, with the material. And this is, this is a project on, on all United Nations sanctions uh, since 1990 and uh, particularly focusing on the targeted sanctions, not the comprehensive sanctions against Iraq, but targeted sanctions. And uh, the, the purpose of the app is actually to have another means of dissemination of the material. So rather than simply having it come out in the traditional report or scholarly publication form, uh, we've made it available uh, in real time to, to practitioners as well as scholars who need the material in real time uh, to have access to information about different types of sanctions, uh, very importantly, different alternatives and alternative language in the preparation of sanctions. Uh, it has all of our qualitative database, which has detailed, systematically designed summaries of all 25 country-based sanctions regimes since 1990. And it even has an interactive feature, which, which in fact, uh, we, we call analogy finders. Since so much decision-making is based on analogies, from the past, uh, what this pro part of the program allows you to do is to go and check off, tick certain boxes, and uh, decide what kind of situation you're facing, what kind of sanctions are you thinking of imposing, and it will suggest, by a quick sift through our quantitative database, which analogy, which of our case episodes is most appropriate for the particular case. So that's, that's what the app contains, and it's based on the idea, really, that access to information is empowering, and information is power. And so if you're sitting in a room and you have uh, access to your handheld device and someone pr makes a proposal for a particular kind of, uh, of, of sanction, uh, type of sanction, or particular design of a sanction, what you can do with Sanctions App is you can simply, in very real time, go into it and simply say, okay, let me look at targeted sanctions, let me look at commodity sanctions. Sorry, that was my email coming in. I should have said that, I know. Uh, let, you can take uh, certain commodity sanctions. You can look at the language that's been used in previous resolutions. And if you don't like the language in the resolution that's been tabled in front of you, in real time you can say, well, what about this alternative? Or what about this particular exemption? So it actually empowers practitioners in real time with information of alternative language that could be utilized in the design of, of uh, new sanctions and new sanctions regimes.